For decades, darkness and lack of access to electricity have been the situation for majority of households in Kwaidu City and its surroundings, with only a 10-hour ration light for few. In November 2021, during a speech on the nationwide progress his government is making, President Biyo was interrupted by dozens of school children in Kono demanding for electricity. But yesterday, it was different as cheering looms the city to celebrate the long-awaited electricity that finally arrives. After he turned the switch on, President Biyo confessed that he felt pity for Kono district a region that greatly contributed to the country's development but has nothing to show for it and he feels is a historical injustice. Without energy, we will not develop. And I want to make Kono use this not only for life of the house, but for what we call productive use of energy. So I want to appeal to my own. May nobody not bring you few people and this. The one then, in a free talk, go with the they put transformers there. People that they go and they go cut the transformer from wherever they live. People that they destroy public infrastructure from wherever they live. When I don't see, we don't work very hard for Grand Canaria. Today, let everybody be the protector of these things they are. Not a policeman no more, a man. The Transco CLSG Network's interconnection project involves the construction of a 1,357 kilometer double circuit high voltage line to connect the national networks of Cote d'Ivoire, Liberia, Sierra Leone, and Guinea. The Minister of Energy, Al Haji Kanja Sisse, noted Kono was not supposed to benefit from the first phase of the CLSG project. But because the district is highly in need of light, the government had to urge the African Development Bank and other donor partners for Koidu to benefit from the first stage. When you have situations where you didn't have electricity before, um, it is necessary for you to meter them. And some of the houses are not metered at all. And this is why, uh, as a start, we brought in 5,000 meters to be supplied free of cost by the government. And uh, following that, we're going to do a thorough assessment of the actual needs for meters in Kwaidu. And, you know, it's going to be a work in progress. We're going to continue providing meters as and when necessary. An end to the cry. A down of the journey to a stable electricity. In the Diamond City, 39 surrounding communities will also benefit. Stakeholders and some residents express delight for the development. And we break promise as authorities of this land, for now we make sure see this light. As authorities of this land, we'll ensure that the energy infrastructure is protected. We'll ask that security forces are deployed at the substation to be scared from people who want to sabotage the light. Because light they now, when they go to patrol and make sure see, they come out, then bad bad people then, we then go on for sabotage this light. Well, it's about thank you, Grace the President. We lost access to stable electricity since 1980. So we thank the President and the Energy Minister for restoring that because it will now help our children to study and businesses to flourish. The 225 KV Bikongo substation just 25 kilometers away from Koidu City in Kono is the third power substation completed among the five to be constructed in the country. The substation has a 40 MVA power transformer with incoming electricity from the Kenema substation and ongoing to Bumbuna. One of the engineers, Francis Vandy, talks more on the design. It is equipped with several um, protection and control systems which are um, make it an ultra modern substation. I think one of the first of its kind in Sierra Leone. It, it also has a shield wire, which is um, another component of the project, wherein we um, injected a medium voltage along the shield wire so that we can um, we can supply villages uh, along the line. Because um, you know as well as I do that um, before now, we have been constructing transmission line which takes power from the generating plant to metropolitan city or um, load centers without um, power in the villages along the line. When the Bio-led administration came into office in 2018, 
the country had 15% access to electricity nationwide, which doubled from 15 to 31% in 2021, according to the Energy Ministry, just a little over three years in office. With these and other energy projects to be completed, the percentage is expected to increase significantly. Salifuchorna Kamara, AYV News.